Hey, what's going on everyone? Jay's Two Cents here. And throughout the years that I've been making content, I have taken a look at quite a few LG TVs. So when LG reached out and said, hey Jay, are you interested in having us sponsor a collaborative video where you take a look at our new flagship model, the LG OLED Evo G3? I was like, uh, duh, does a, does a J poop in the woods? I don't actually poop in the woods, but the answer is yes. So once again, a huge thank you to LG for sponsoring today's video. So LG is actually celebrating its 10th anniversary since they launched their first OLED TV. And they're leveraging everything they've learned along the way to maintain their number one brand OLED TV title in the world. So that's a pretty huge accomplishment. And in fact, it's crazy to me that it's been 10 years since I basically learned about OLED TVs. So moving on, what is OLED? OLED basically stands for an organic light emitting diode. And it's a completely different way of having a TV operate than the normal pixels and stuff that you're used to. So for instance, each pixel can emit its own light. So what that means is when that pixel is intended to render something dark, it can go completely off. And when the pixel is off, it is basically a perfect black. So what that gives you is a near infinite contrast ratio. So this is amazing for anyone that loves to consume content, whether it be cinema, movies, TV shows, or even games. Because one of the things that's amazing about the new TVs is their gaming uh, performance. We'll talk about that a little bit later in this video. OLED design has just come such a long way in the last 10 years, and LG has been a absolute beast when it comes to developing their OLED TVs. It means you still get highlights in the clouds because you can have individual pixels lighting the details in the clouds, and you still get all the, the details in the shadows. And that's not just because of the individual pixel brightness and colors that they can render and display, but also because the TV is HDR10 Pro. So you're gonna get a near infinite contrast ratio. It's pretty much as infinite as it can possibly get. And you're gonna get the amount of details and highlights. So that is what makes OLED on a high level more, just an amazing viewing experience, regardless of what you've got your peepers looking at on the screen. Now let's go ahead and take a tour around the TV. The Evo G3 is a, a pretty unique design in the sense that it has what they call their one wall design that's included with it. So basically it is a near perfectly flush mount wall mount that comes with the TV that allows you to get pretty much a zero gap between the wall and the TV. Now, because you have the TV so close to the wall, it means all of your inputs and all of your outputs are going around the perimeter of the TV facing outward, rather than anything facing rearward, which would mean you need a gap between the wall and the TV. Otherwise, uh, it could not be flush because those plugs would be hitting. Now that one wall design mount comes with the TV. And the nice thing about that is it does pull out and it does swivel uh, a few degrees either way. So if you need to change your viewing angle, depending on where you're sitting or, or any need you know, to move the TV, you can do that. And when you're done, you can just push it back into the wall. And one of the things that's really unique about this particular mount is it is toolless. And this was something I wasn't expecting until I actually operated it and put it on the TV. You just pull the flaps out of the way, slide it on, lock the flaps back down and you're good to go. So that means that you can have the mount on the wall. If you ever needed to move the TV for whatever reason or take it off the wall to clean or put in new inputs or something, whatever your imagination might find the reason to take it off the wall, you can do so without having to get tools behind there and finick, you know, be finicky with it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is although they do include the one wall design mount, if you wanna put this on a TV console or on a table, uh, it does not come with the stand included. That's an optional item that you have to get separately. Now, speaking of inputs, uh, it's HDMI 2.1, so that means you're gonna get the latest HDMI spec, and that's really gonna come in handy when it comes to PC gaming. Speaking of PC gaming, when it comes to specs, 4K, 120 hertz, 0.1 millisecond response time. Now, that 0.1 millisecond response time with 120 hertz refresh rate is amazing, but it also is G-Sync compatible with AMD FreeSync Premium and VRR. So, basically, you are getting all of the best specs that you would need in a gaming monitor in the format of an OLED TV. Input lag is gonna be near non-existent. It is, it is insane. We'll do a live demo of that a little bit later in the video, but moving on, a lot of this is achieved with the Alpha 9 AI Gen 6 processor. So you might be asking yourself, why do you need an AI processor in a TV? Well, the Alpha 9 AI processor in the LG OLED Evo G3 is actually an upscaler. So if you're watching older content, and, and we've got a huge variance in resolutions in anything that you can watch today. If you're like me and you're an old guy and you like to watch older content, that was filmed in 480p or maybe even smaller, depending on how far back you go, all the way up to, you know, obviously 4K streaming content today. But the Alpha 9 AI processor actually analyzes the scene of what you're watching 
and will upscale the resolution. It'll sharpen it, it'll give better textures, it'll give better color volume, color mapping, everything on it is just completely AI analyzed to give you the best possible viewing experience that you can imagine. And that always sounded a little bit kind of like gimmicky to me, to be honest, until the first time I experienced it. In fact, I was watching a TV show that was filmed back in the 70s. Obviously, we've come a long way in the last, what, 60 years, almost 60 years since uh, we've seen any of this content, well, over 50 years. But it looked like it was filmed today. Filmed today with people wearing old-timey clothes and using old-timey cars. It was the weirdest experience, but it was so it was so neat to feel like I was watching a completely director remastered content, but it was happening on the TV in real time as you were watching it. But the Alpha 9 AI processor isn't just about upscaling. It also analyzes anything that you're watching, whether it be old content or new content, to give you the most lifelike, the most vivid, the most rich colors, texture details that you can possibly imagine. And with filmmaker mode built into the TV, it means that you can watch the content the way that the director intended you to watch it. And that's all automatic, by the way. You don't have to do anything other than turn on the feature and it will do it for you automatically. So if you put on something that's automatically gonna be in HDR, HDR will turn on. If, you're, if you've got something that's gonna be uh, like a movie that you're gonna watch on Netflix or any streaming content or, or optical drive, it will automatically enable filmmaker mode. And because it all happens automatically, it's not something you have to think about and fuddle with the, the remote to go in and handle. The AI stuff built into the TV basically removes your need to really interact with any of those settings. It just does it for you. Now the LG OLED EVO G3 also features a five-year panel warranty designed to give users peace of mind that the OLED performance is not gonna change on you. And because there's an entire suite of pixel health built into the panel, it means you've got things like pixel sweep, pixel shift, which means you're not gonna be dealing with degradation in performance. So when it comes to picture quality, you can have peace of mind with that five-year panel warranty. So before we get into the gaming demo, I'm just gonna kinda of show you what I was talking about here with some of the, the, the pixel uh, individuality, if you will. So we have a pretty contrasty scene right here. We've got white clouds, a blue sky, we've got some uh, trails right here from airplanes, we've got shadows down here in the rocks of the, the mountainscape or the landscape. So you can see the detail all the way down in here. Even in the shadowy parts of the clouds, you can see the actual variance in the colors there. You can see the textures on the rocks right here. Uh, and you can see, again, all that detail in the sky. And don't forget, we are pointing a camera at a light source. Fortunately, our camera's pretty good at picking this sort of stuff up. But this is the kind of stuff that you get with uh, OLED. Look at the detail here. You can see the texture in the fabric, but you can also see the sunset happening through the clouds up here. Actually, okay, that's the ocean. That They're upside down. You can also see the amount of detail in the front of him. And this is literally just, normally this would be kind of a blotched out shadow. This is just where resolution combined with OLED is absolutely nuts. Look at the level of detail. Look at the moss. You can see the moss growing in there. Down in the shadow here, you don't lose any of the waves or the ripples in the water. But if you look over here in the bright scenes, you also get perfect sky all the way down to the horizon and the clouds are fully visible. All right, so here's a perfect example before we move on to the upscaler because I really want to demonstrate that. But look at this, we've got, a, we've got a tapestry sitting here in direct sunlight and creating shadow and we don't lose any of the texture details in the shadows or the white parts of the fabric in the direct sunlight. You can still see the individual threads. It is beyond mind-blowing at the what individual pixel brightness is able to do. All right, moving on, I'm gonna find a piece of old content here. I'm aiming for like 50 plus years old so I can demonstrate the upscaler. Uh, this is, to me, is one of the most mind-blowing things. Okay, so this is just an old episode of Star Trek and I mean, you can see just how freaking sharp this is. All right, so let's take a look at the Alpha 9 AI upscaler right now in the Twilight Zone. Look at this. Do you see how sharp <laughs> this is? This show was filmed, what? Over 50 years ago. Look at the, the, the look at the textures on his skin. Do you think you've ever seen this when it aired? Heck no. This is nuts. So the way that we ended up making sure that all of this was on is if you go in here to your settings, you can do this in any of the different picture modes. Um, but picture mode, standard, advanced settings, go to general, then AI service, and this is where you can turn on the different AI stuff. So AI genre selection. Um, it explains what basically everything is on the screen, but it finds a suitable um, AI setting for the type of content that you're watching. AI Sound Pro, um, AI Acoustic Tuning, that's where it's actually gonna tune the speakers based off of uh, 
the way it's set up in your room. We're in a big open space, so we're not doing that right now. But by just turning those features on, we get to, to see such an old piece of content have pores on skin. If anything, it actually shows how good their cameras were back then, if you don't know the truth. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077. Um, as you can see here, this has got a lot of dark scenes and stuff in it. It's extremely smooth. This is the kind of game that typically, and this is just the, the track benchmark, and we'll do some live gameplay in a second. I just wanted to show you the dark scenes, especially here inside the, uh, the bar. And as we transition to the alley and we open the door, you're gonna get hit with a bunch of light instantly. Um, but look at that. The amount of detail that's in here, and ray tracing is on, so you can see the reflections and stuff in the water. This is the perfect title to showcase the LG OLED technologies because of the fact that it's just so, such a beautiful title. All right, so here we are now just in live gameplay. You can see I'm just sort of riding around on a motorcycle here, and then obviously you just gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. Oh, that was close. Dude, the gaming is so good, it's so smooth. Yeah, motion blur's on. I like motion blur, fight me. Anyway, so there's, dude, this, this is not the kind of thing you would ever expect on a TV back in the day. It has come so far. 4K 120. Ooh, ah! And that's what, ah, ah! <laughs> I'm gonna try some Rocket League now because Rocket League obviously is a very important uh, game when it comes to re response time. And I think it's a really good demonstration of just how fast the TV is. All right, here we go, good old Rocket League. Again, this is a very response based game because of the fact that you are dealing with very, very important uh, response time when it comes to tracking this ball and input lag and all that would definitely show here. So let's see. Oh, hey, you saved it. Don't judge me based on my Rocket League skills. Whoa. Oh, I got the presents. I forgot about that. Oh, nice shot. He's really good at those second touches. Get in the corner. Yeah. So there you go guys, that was just a high level gaming experience of what it's like to game on an OLED. It's, I could show you all day long, but until you're doing it yourself, you just aren't gonna be able to understand how it is so buttery smooth. Again, 0.1 millisecond response time, 4K 120 hertz refresh rate, uh, G-Sync compatible, FreeSync premium, VRR, HDMI 2.1. It is the best combination of consuming movies and shows and playing games at the, with one panel that you could possibly have. And look, you can't just take my word for it. I highly recommend you go into Google and you just Google search LG OLED and you will find a whole bunch of information explaining the benefits of LG OLEDs. And, don't just take my word for it. But anyway, once again, a huge thanks to LG for sponsoring today's video where we got to take a look at, again, their LG OLED Evo G3 top of the line flagship model celebrating 10 years of OLED TVs from LG. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.